The only time I'll stop learning is when I have soil in my ears. Those are the famous words of Kimani Maruge, a Kenyan national who is noted as being the oldest person to enroll in primary school. The 84-year-old ex Malma freedom fighter fought for his right to go to school for the first time to get the education he could never afford. Now his emotional and inspiring story has been made into a feature film called The First Grader. You don't give up easily, do you? I'll be a good pupil. We have a new student today. Welcome, Open your exercise books. Let's begin. We sat down with the film's director, Justin Chadwick, to find out more about this project. What was different about it was it felt like a different film coming from Africa. Here was a story that was uplifting, that celebrated life, that wasn't particularly issue driven. Yes, it deals with education, but this was an audience film that was for audiences to enjoy, to have emotion and go on an emotional roller coaster. So that was what initially kind of, it was surprising, it was different, it was different from anything that I'd seen or read coming out of Africa. And then it was going and actually going to the country and seeing Maruge himself, spending time with him and hearing his story. And you know, when you connect with the, 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 the material like that, and you know, I spent many weeks with this, this amazing man who had this amazing history, an unknown history about Britain's past and Kenya's past, um, I knew I had to make it. And similarly, you know, when I met Jane Abinchu, the teacher, you know, all these stories and these themes started to emerge, and so I knew I had to make it. Initially, Chadwick and his crew had planned to film pickup shots in Kenya and to film the rest in South Africa. But after spending time with Maruga and teacher Jane, Chadwick said it was important to be on location in Kenya in order to keep the story as authentic and as close to the truth as possible. To have these raw performances that are very real um, felt to me really important to try and capture that and with it being a Kenyan story for the story to be truthful to Kenyans as well you know so that Kenyans and Africans and uh, the people would not see it you know would see it as a truthful to the people it represented and to use the fact that I'm from outside um, as a way of, of listening and observing what was in front of me and to learn and to use the fact that I was from Manchester in England to kind of scratch underneath the surface and try and catch the truth of the story. Having spent some time with Maruga and hearing about his story in detail, Chadwick said there were several difficult scenes he and the crew had to undertake during production. The hardest thing for me was to, to actually shoot those scenes from the 50s, which he, you know, where you're sitting now, he's there, you know, talking to me, telling me those stories which were as viscerally um, told as I tried to portray them in the movie. I mean, you know, I didn't embellish those. Those were uh, exactly what he, he told me. So that, that was difficult to shoot because sadly he passed away three weeks before we started shooting. So he wasn't there to be part of it. So those were hard to shoot. While the film has received rave reviews at several film festivals around the world, he says it was the response from the Kenyan people that mattered to him the most. So I took the film, built this uh, tent in the, in the uh, in the playground and the children all sat there and came and I was wondering that would they stay still or you know what would they be like and it was not just the children it was the whole community turned up so there was like people that traveled for miles to kind of get there and um, they sat and they laughed and they giggled and they they cheered and and they were it was incredible to watch themselves when they saw themselves it was amazing. I mean, you know, I was watching them all because I knew the bits which were coming up where they were going to actually see themselves in close up. And they stayed, all of those children stayed all the way through that movie. I cut out the more kind of the, the, the more graphic moments of the film so it wouldn't disturb them. And they watched it from beginning to end. And as soon as it finished, they wanted to watch it again. You know, it was amazing. It was really, that was a very humbling moment to see children watching their, themselves as their first moving image experience. It was quite something. With a film like this, Chadwick says we can all learn a thing or two from Maruge and Teacher Jane. It, what's happened with education is a shame, and so part of the part of the of the of the film's kind of life is when I've shown it at film festivals, and young people have seen it and gone, "I'm going to change my major to be a teacher," you know, because you know I was inspired by Naomi's performance. That means a lot to me because uh, I would not be here if it hadn't been for a teacher. I'm sure you wouldn't be, you know. So yeah, no, Maruge is right. 
never too old to learn and you should never give up the quest to learn because you're learning all the time and I think that we learn more from those children in that process and the Kenyans that we're working with um, through that process definitely it changed us all and I've tried and I will try and feed that into the work that I do in the future of my life. Yeah. The first grader is now showing in cinemas around the country.